I got kicked out. I got kicked out of my fantasy football league for talking about a girl's weight. So she called me a keyboard warrior. And so ever since then, people, everybody's been calling me the keyboard warrior. You should have so Uber. That, you should have Uber eats her a pizza. <laughs> Jesus. Welcome inside another third and three, everybody, and we are right here. On we are top. right here on the peak of Alabama football season. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't feel the electricity, you don't feel the excitement, if you don't feel that little tingle in your left testicle, by the way, if you do, one out of three men have statistical cancer, so you should probably get that checked out. Stingray, it's Alabama football time. Let's go, baby. First off, this is my show, and you have no say-so on my show so we need to redo that open because you cut me off and nobody cuts me off. Don't <laughs> the stingray. Just saying. Stingray woke up and chose violence, man. <laughs> Jesus. Who hey, is this guy? This... <laughs> Jesus. This is a Christian show. <laughs> it's a family show, man. I got my kids over here. And on that note, we have a little bit of breaking news here. Clemson Tom is back. Can you smell the greatness that has returned to the CTS? Because Great. last week, it was too much Alabama. Greatness. The only reason why he was gone, because he had sand in his lady parts. No, I, had, I legit was in bed sick. It was rough. But I understand we had a new uh, sponsor for the show, JBL Audio. That's well. Your mustache has the JBL Audio logo. And <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can't even grow hair there, man. We already said a prayer for you. I guess now it just looks like Moses part of the Red Sea. You think you're funny? Right? That's the problem. You it's think a Christian show now. Congratulations, it's like parting the Red Sea. No, anyways, in my sales meeting today with my team, I did show some Alabama clips, uh, football, just to kind of get everybody geared up. Show some Clemson as well. But if you've got a second, I can show uh, some Alabama clips for you that we showed in the sales meeting. Okay, well, go ahead. Sting, go ahead and uh, put that, put Sting, that down. Go ahead, go ahead and tee Sting. up the Chris Davis, the Chris Davis clips. Oh. Play sent you to therapy. <laughs> Don't ever play that crap on my damn channel again. It's oh, he's not blocking Chris Davis up the sideline. There Sting, he goes. That, that, he's gone. I don't know why you Sting, that's not even funny. That's not even funny. We won three championships, uh, four, five, six. How many championships we won since then? Nobody cares about that. Only Arbor fans talk about that crap. Only people with who has a mascot for tigers. Or Eagles talk about that crap. Nobody cares. It's gone. It's done. It's over with. That's, Arb about the that's, that's, Arb that's Auburn's championship game right there because they're not going to ever win another championship. You obviously yeah. are still butthurt about Just it, introduce me. He's butthurt. Just hush and introduce me. He is the owner of the CTS, Joey Lozada. And, Joey, you were actually a little bit under the weather, too. I'm feeling fine now. He was just butt hurt. That's all it was. I was not butt hurt. All, all he butthurt. needed was to was to rub his little Nick Saban doll when he goes to sleep. It was like Coach Saban, I still love you. I still look. Oh, oh man, it's Joey's wife texting me. She's begging me to leave you alone. I'll be upstairs soon, sweetie. Uh, That's she left my speaking house. Speaking. Oh hell no. <laughs> speaking of uh, when people's uh. Speaking of, you can't even talk now. You're all flustered. Y'all on that one. 
first of all, don't be talking about my wife. Let's talk about let's talk about moms. Let's talk about moms for a second. Why don't you? You guys, you are so scared of me that you had to get your mama to come talk trash about me. Your mama. On Facebook. Right, I'll call her right now. Facebook. Do not. Hey, look. I'll, I will beat that woman's. Hey, 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 baby. Listen, if you're watching, because I know you are. I know you are. Listen to me. I understand that I'm claiming Tom's daddy. I already know the secret. Okay. So listen, I'm not going to talk about our grandchild like bad ever again. Just so you don't have to go on social media that I'm going to take care of our boy. Okay. So Sting, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to, you know, cut this off, but Clemson Tom's mom, she wants me. She's talking about she wants to do things with me. I don't understand it. But anyway, go ahead with the show. She, like, if my mom ever came on the show, it'd be, it would be between you and Jesus. Is that your mom? Hey, 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 Miss Clemson Tom's mom. <laughs> I, I, we were just saying, we were just talking nice things about you. I doubt that. <laughs> Um, I just want you to know if you ever talk ugly to my grandbaby again, uh -huh. I'm going to come to wherever you are and you are going to be begging sweet baby Jesus to save your soul. Yes, ma'am. That's um, all you need to say is yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. Now, I like this other sweet, cute little boy. That stingray. Yeah, he's adorable. Thank you. I appreciate that. Because he is respectful, but you, I'm going to take your butt to the woodshed. I ain't going to lie. would not be happy. <coughs> I'm not going to lie. That did sound kind of kinky, but, but yes, ma'am, I'm, I'm sorry. I would never, ever talk bad about a Xander ever again in your, at least to your, when you're around. Sorry. I'm always watching and I'm always listening. What are you, baby Jesus? And sweet baby Jesus, you could be begging him for mercy. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I, for now, I, for real, sincerely, I do apologize. I would never talk bad about Xander ever again, even if he talks trash about me. I promise. He can talk trash about you all you want because you got that ugly ass Alabama hat on. All right, whoa, whoa, hey, lady, we don't talk about Alabama like that now. See, I was being nice and respectful, but then all of a sudden, you just start coming on and talking about Alabama. You respect the A. Okay. Respect the A. You respect right the A. Oh, you know what? All right, well, I'll let you go. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you better leave. So you I love you too. Bye bye. I, lo I love you too, baby. I told you between you and Jesus. Clemson, Tom, you can't do stuff like that. <laughs> what? Oh, that was I do what I want. I'm a winner. I'm, I, and I'm an American. Land of the free, home of the brave. <sighs> My heart is beating. Damn. Sting. Okay, y'all got too many damn surprises for me this week, man. Go go to the damn questions. Stupid. <laughs> well, guys, a huge topic in the news this week was the release of Cam Newton. Now, the issue around the release we're not going to talk about, but I do have a question for both of you guys. Where ultimately do you think Cam Newton should end up in the NFL. I personally feel like he needs to go uh, to America's team to back up Dak Prescott because they just got rid of their backup quarterback and now they are scrambling to find a backup for Dak. Go ahead, Clemson. Tom. I, I'll, I'll kick it off. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with Cam. I don't know if, if the injury was too severe. And they're just not telling us everything, just how normal is. But he was not completing passes very well at all. If anything, I think he should take maybe a year off, maybe sign just with the team to be a backup or even be a mentor with someone. Maybe just heal up. Because ever since he came back, he has not been 100%. And maybe he just maybe he's just done. Maybe his career is over. I mean, it's sad because he was such a, an awesome talent out there. But, I mean, the defense that he was going up against, they were calling him uh, – well, one of the Clemson guys who was facing, I can't remember his name, but they were calling him check down. Like, all right, check down. We're going to, you know, heckle him a little bit. Maybe his career is over. I don't know. Maybe he just needs another year of rehab and not have the pressure of being, you know, QB1 for, for a team. 
But if if I'm a guy that's just looking for a good backup with a with a good vet, bring him in. Let him know this is why we're bringing you on. We want you to mentor. We want you to rehab. We want you to get better. We want zero pressure on you. And maybe next year, the year after, maybe come back and maybe you're come back player of the year. I don't know, but you know, here's our third string. You know, QB. It's going to be you. No pressure. We want you to rehab. We believe in you, and we want you to mentor. I, you know, I, I sort of agree with Clemson Tom. I don't, under, I don't know this Cam Newton. Uh, this Cam Newton that we see today, I don't know. I mean, I know the Cam Newton at one time. He was the most electrify. He was one of the most electrifying guys on the field. I know this guy with a cannon arm, and he was just, just, just Superman. Yeah. I mean, he one time he was the most highest paid player in the NFL. He was the most highest paid player in college. I mean, this guy right here, he has really made a history in football. And it's sad to see this. And, I, and off the field, you know, on the field, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I'm not a Patriots fan. I, I was not a Panthers fan. Sure, hell, I wasn't an Auburn fan. Uh, but off the field, this guy is like one of the nicest human beings. I don't understand the the, the slack he gets off the field. Uh, I mean, I think he's like gold. He's a he's got the heart of gold. He doesn't do things to shame himself. Besides, he dresses the like a pimp from the twenties. Well, other than that, he's still a great guy. Well, guys, as we talked about earlier in the show, we are close to the start of the college football season as it actually starts tonight. On a Thursday night as Tennessee takes on Bowling Green. But one thing that we're going to do throughout the season here on third and three is all three of us are going to give you our upsets of the week. So I will start first with Clemson Tom. As I pointed in the wrong direction, we will start over there with Clemson Tom, and then we'll go to me, and then we'll go to Joey last. So, Tom. Just remember, I'm always on your left because Joey's not right. Just remember that. Yes. Now, mine's a little bit of a reach, but we're calling upsets. And I do like I do like uh, Louisiana Monroe beating Kentucky. I don't know what it is. Wow. Yeah, I'm calling it. Now, I do think they cover. Now, there's, a lot, there's a lot of different things that are going out there. I think, I think a lot of these teams are going to cover. I like a lot of underdogs. But something about Monroe, I like the coaching staff. Look up the coaching staff. You'll know why I like them. Terry Bowden. <laughs> and a lot of former Clemson players. Yes. Um, like my boy Xavier Brewer is a coach for them as well. Um, it's the, I, I, I follow them on Twitter, obviously. I know them. They're great guys, great coaches. I've got faith that they can pull this out. That's all I'm going to say. So and I'm, I'm almost, thinking that would be a and the stupidest pick I ever heard in life. And Stupid. their offensive coordinator was almost Alabama's coach before Coach Saban, Rich Rod. We don't, we don't, we don't even talk about Rich Rod right here on the show. Turn, turn it off. Sorry. Tell us, Tell Xander Where's he's going to get a very stern email from me if he don't behave. Turns on the damn TV. I'm, <laughs> e I'm going to send that email on right now. Like, like we're not doing anything. Go watch TV in the other room. I'm trying to type. Will you be quiet? Go ahead, Sting. Hey. Xander's going to get hey, his email. You're, you're not in trouble. Just I'm, I'm, We're doing stuff, okay? Yeah. Send. Make sure he reads that email. Who? And Xander. You send it to me? Yeah, I sent him an email. Tom, just go. <laughs> I got Come kicked on. out. I got kicked out of my fantasy football league for talking about a girl's weight. So she called me a keyboard warrior. And so ever since then, people everybody's been calling me the keyboard warrior. You should have so Uber, that, you should have Uber eats her a pizza. <laughs> Tell me, Jesus, man. See, I, like, I'm a smart ass. So if that would have happened to me, I would have sent her a pizza. I did. Look, she, you know, for the two years, we talk trash. I mean, I, for, I've been in this league for five years, and we talk trash all the time. And they've never been sensitive. And, of course, I've always been respectful because they're somebody's wife. Yeah. But, <laughs> but and I didn't feel like what I put was so, like, get kicked out of the, <laughs> a league. It was just so – I don't even know what I put. But the her best friend is the 
wife of the owner of the league and they were like he was like dude you, you're out and i was like okay well cool. well that's what you know i mean not that we joke on your wife every day but sometimes wives are just off limits you know i think joey's dumbness is rubbing off on you i'm really disappointed easy sting. You, my friend easy sting you're gonna get another very stern email anyway my upset send one right now keep talking go ahead i'll send it to your wife too kick your ass <laughs> and it is actually going to be a shocker to you guys because this team actually last year won the mountain west conference I have the former SEC quarterback Nick Starkle and the San Jose State Spartans going Stupid. into the Coliseum and Stupid. knocking and knocking off the Trojans of USC. That's a stupid pick. That was stupid. I thought about that one too, Sting. That's 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 a that's a that's, yeah. a, that's a bulls pick, man. It's a bull pick. Because I honestly think Clay Helton at USC is on his way out. Last year they really underperformed and should not have won the Arizona State game or the Arizona game. That was a stupid pick. Yeah, neither one of y'all know how to y'all don't pay attention to football, do you? Okay, Mr. Big Sh Who's your pick? I told you. You know what? You better get another email. I told you about the cussing. Sorry. Listen. Yeah, you better be sorry. I'll call my mom again. You need to straighten it hey, hey, I'm sorry, man. Don't call the mom. Don't call the mom. Don't call the mom. I'm sorry. No more emails. My pick is guaranteed. Go ahead and call your Go ahead and call, call your mama. Don't call Clemson Towns mama, but call somebody. It's mama. My number one pick is going to this. Y'all going to be amazed by this pick. Get this. My upset pick. Tulane is going to be Oklahoma. I think everyone is rattled that you made that pick. Hear me out. Listen, have you seen the field goal kicker on Tulane? The Danny Glover, you know, you know who I'm talking about, Sting. Danny Glover. He was on, yeah, yeah. He came out of retirement. He he's played. You know, he played on Lethal Weapons, and he's come out and he's going to kick for Tulane now. Did you? Look, Are you talking about Marie? Glover from Tulane, the kicker. This is this is every That's week, y'all. Every week you tell me, please come back on the show. Please come back on the show. And I keep saying, is, is that, that, that idiot going to be there? And you're like, yeah. And I'm like, okay, you're going to have to Venmo me more money to be on the show. And then he picks Tulane over Oklahoma. Are y'all saying this is not a good pick? Not me enough for this stupidity. This is. You trying to say that's not a good pick? No, it's not a good pick. Just like God doesn't make mistakes, but he did when he created you, just to prove a point. So Danny Glover's not the kick kicker. No, your pick is a mistake. Like wearing a hat indoors with sunglasses is a mistake. Like having that mustache with a huge gap in here looking like Moses is part of the Red Sea is a mistake. I, mean, I would like to say like the blinds thing, behind you are a mistake. It's just those blinds are a hundred dollars a piece, by the way. I, I would like to say one thing, and I think I speak for all three of us. Everybody that has to deal with Tulane, that football program, and the great state of Louisiana, we, we are all in your thoughts and prayers dealing with the remnants of Hurricane Ida. And we guys know that you guys will be strong and you will get back through it and you will get back stronger than ever. Especially with Danny Glover as a kicker on for your football team. We don't care what your opinion is on the CTS. We know the facts. And the fact is, we got the funniest man to ever come out of the state of Alabama. Ladies and gentlemen, 
the one and only Steve Brown. Steve, how you doing? What's up, man? What's going on with you? Man, I'm just happy to see you, man. You're on the CTS. Hey, man, I'm happy to be here, man. Just uh, just got back in the country. I went and, uh, to the Bahamas and did some stuff. Just got back today, and um, you called me collect. I, I accepted. I don't know why, but I did, and I guess because I like you. But you know what? <laughs> I see, um, you know, I, I was when, when you told me who was going to be interviewing me, I was kind of reluctant. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you why. Mm-hmm. Ask me why. Why? Well, it's you and that guy Stingray, right? Yeah. Where's Stingray? Right here, bro. Okay, I don't see you, but I got. I I I, I want to say something to you real quick. Okay. Okay. All right, let me see. Stingray, number one. I'm not your bro. All right. Okay. I don't like you because you're a fake Bama fan. You don't go Mississippi State and then come to Bama like it's okay. Everybody else let it go, but I didn't. So Stingray, right now, today, well, no, tonight, yes, we are creating a beat. So right now, anybody that's listening, uh, and I and I know people are watching. You know, they just I'm letting you know up front. I got beef with Stingray. You know, yeah, he's funny. I give him that. He's funny. You can't go from Mississippi State and then come to Bama and think it's okay. You just you just you, you got to go through a process. You remember, remember, Nick Saban says it's a process, and you haven't gone through that process. So I'm not gonna let you skate in here like, like, like you can just roll on in like a tide. It's not gonna happen, sir. So there okay. it is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Steve, yeah. you got a comment for that? Hey, man, I like everybody now, not just Mississippi State. No, no. <laughs> it's Bama or nothing. I want to hear you say it, or this beef is gonna continue. Okay, roll tide. It's no, nothing. It's, no, I want to say it's all about Alabama. For a stingray, I'll make your life miserable. <laughs> okay, it's all about Alabama. There it is. All right, so stingray, <laughs> now from this point on, when you do your SEC show, which is a very good show, you need to start wearing Bama paraphernalia from here on out, nothing else. Okay. Yeah. We got to talk about, yeah, we talk like this. It's Mm -hmm. definitely one of the funniest YouTube pages on YouTube. Thank you. What is the goal for, yeah, we talk like this? Because if you're not watching watching that YouTube page, what are you doing? You need to stop right now and ask yourself, what are you doing? Because if you don't like that. Well, you know what? I'm going to tell you what you're doing. You're slipping. That's what you're doing. See, a lot of people, like, for instance, the content that you guys are putting out, even Stingray, the fake Bama fan. <laughs> great content. Great content. But it's it's not about how funny you are now. It's about who you know. It ain't it ain't about who you, I mean, it ain't about how, how creative and how funny you are. It's about if people know you. You can be the dullest, most untalented person out there and have a million fans and because somebody knows you. So it's all about notoriety now. But the thing is, man. We're still continuing the funny, whether it's twenty people or twenty thousand. We're going to continue and just grow it like that and grow our our um, situation organically, and that's just what it is, you know. Now we talked about like we talked about it a little bit on the Sunday interview about yeah we talked like this, and of course you challenged me to come on, and you challenged not only that you challenged me to be come do a stand up at uh-huh. the opening. Which I have not yet accepted. I told, I said to everybody I accept it, which I will, because I will never turn down a challenge. Mm-hmm. Uh, however, my point is simple. We talked about, yeah, we talked like this. What, what was your, I guess, you know, how you say, what was the reason why you wanted to start a YouTube page? Being that one, you have such a busy schedule on the road, and two. I well, mean, you try. Again, no, I mean, it really is no truth. You travel so much. So, what made you want to start a YouTube page? Well, again, it's not about how funny you are. It's about how relevant you are, and you got to continue. And now, being relevant to the the younger generation, it's about how famous you are on YouTube or Instagram and just social media in general. 
and you're not really validated unless you're huge and you got huge numbers on social media. So we have to work that muscle as well. You know what I'm saying? Of course, we have the raw talent and all that, but you still have to work that social media. And that's just the way the things are going now. And and honestly, it's really sad for people who are that are that have really been busting that excuse me, trying to get to a certain level and somebody surpasses them because they got a lot of followers on Instagram is unfair, but that's just the way, you know, things are moving right now. So you have to you have to, you know, be good on all facets. So I have to throw content out there. Not only do I have the yeah, we talk at this page, I was, I also have my personal Steve Brown uh YouTube channel. So you can check it out as well. You know, S W B comic. I mean, yeah, I'm sorry, yes. Uh yeah, that's what it is. Yeah. So yeah. But, um, if you don't know how to, if you don't know how to get into those pages, we post them regularly on uh the Carolyn's Treasure Shop Facebook page and on the Bama Standard Twitter page. So make sure you go check them out. Uh, one thing I want to bring up is your mm -hmm. funny straw videos. Those oh. are freaking hilarious. Uh, what gave what, what what went through your mind and say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna start doing these videos. Huh? You know, it derived from my daughter, and I think we 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 spoke on it earlier before. You know, it's a, another facet of the Serial Bowl Chronicles. Somehow, I, and I don't know how I did it. I just threw this thing with the straw in where, where I'm shooting spitballs at people, and it took off. So I just started, you know, really uh, throwing more content in with it and, 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 and uh, exaggerating what really happens, and people are loving it. So it's, it's, it's all in what I'm doing as far as uh, another, um, I guess, another character on the, 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 my YouTube channel. So, like I said, you got to go to the Steve Brown YouTube channel and check it out. I got, I have uh, Electric Clyde. That's a character I do. Uh, we got the Serial Bowl Chronicles. That's that's a segment that I do. So, just just trying to be, you know, creative and and, and and trying to stay relevant. So, it's pretty cool. It's working out. Well, obviously, you have a show here on the CTS, uh, Steve. Can you tell us a little bit about it, please, sir? <laughs> yes, Stingray. I sure can. It's called uh, the Bama Standard, and the Bama Standard features four real Bama fans. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we talk about everything Alabama. Yeah. From the coaches, the players, the girls in the locker room, we talk about it all. We don't care. But it's all about Bama. It's all about Bama, and it's a really, really damn good show. A damn good show. <sighs> Guys. I thought I'd never be doing this, but I'm going to say this. Stingray, hold up. <laughs> let a thug, let okay. a thug take a drink. Okay. <laughs> Stingray, I thought I'd never say this, but I've been a, I've been a fan for a while. What room for him? I've been a fan for a while. You're a pretty good dude. Thank you. That's all I wanted to say. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Excuse me? I said I appreciate that, man. Thank you. Uh-huh. And it's all about Alabama. Stingray. Yes. We just made we just made up, man. I love you, man. The beef is over. The that beef is over. Club, that was oh my god, beef. the beef the beef is over. Awesome, oh, man. I, I like it. So, Jay Z and Nas need to take an example of this right here. Hey, you know what, man? As a matter of fact, hey, why don't you come on our show and let's talk about Bama together? Okay. Yeah. Let's yeah, let's Thank do you. it, man. I'd love to have you on, man. Let me tell you something, man. That was the biggest blessing you ever heard you ever got in your life. There yeah. are there's nothing like Bama. Fans, nothing like it. As a matter of fact, have you ever been to a Bama game before? I have, yes. Yes. Have you noticed at the very top of the stadium when Alabama scores a touchdown, the rednecks jump off the side as a sacrifice? Have you known that? <laughs> did yeah. you know that? I did. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you, Sting Ray? Of course I did. Yes, I've been to plenty of Alabama games. And the tailgate and the tailgate, you know, you can I promise you. It's like 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 like, you know, of course, 
we, we all it's racial tension everywhere. But but when you go to a Bama game, blacks, whites, Hispanics, Africans, Jew, it doesn't matter. All you got to do is say two words. As a matter of fact, they're the scariest two words in college football. You know what they are, Steve Ray? You know what they are? Roll Tide. Roll Tide. You can get anything you want. I remember years ago, I was walking by uh, 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 this, 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 this tent full of white folks, full of white people. And, and I, somebody said, hey, man, just say those two words. You get anything you want. Let me tell you something. I walked in that tent, stood my chest out. And said those two words, and I left there with three new cars. Could you believe that? That's awesome, man. Damn right. Damn right. Now, after the game, I went to jail. That, but, but still, I got, <laughs> I got them right then. I got them right then. Them folks gave me the keys. Yeah. I got them right then. Yeah. I, the thing where you hurt me, man. You hurt you really. I, I'm not going to cry, but you hurt me, man. I've been a fan for a while, and you here with a damn cow. But you know, ooh. Ladies and gentlemen, the, he he. I don't care what he says. Stingray, he I was a fan. It. I was a fan, man. <laughs> How could you let me down? I don't know, man. But uh, I mean, I don't know what I can do to make it up to you, though. Oh my God! I know what you Let's, can do. <laughs> I'm trying to close. What? I know what you can do. What? You remember those uh those redneck Bama fans I told you about with the sacrifices? Yes. You want to take that leap? No. no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All right. Well, ladies All right. and gentlemen, he's part of the CTS, even if he don't want to be. But damn it, because he's will always be part of the CTS. Catch him on All Things Steve Brown on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Yeah, we talk like this. Greatest YouTube page on YouTube right now. Catch him on there. If you're not watching that show, you're slipping. Ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Steve Brown. Hey, I appreciate y'all. So let me come on, man. Last but not least, man. I don't think uh, Stingray and I are real, real, really good thugs because that was a, like the shortest beef ever, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Before we sign off, and I got to say, I'm so excited. We are back to the non conference matchups, baby. Clemson versus Georgia, Alabama versus Miami. Let's go, baby. It is college football season, and we're doing it the right way. It's football season, and it's time to act like it. It's time to wake up early, tap it at midnight, start early. It's going to be a long day on Saturday. It's a, it's a marathon. It's not a sprint. Get your liver ready. It's We're back, baby. We're back. With that and I one thing right last now. thing. Back. Closes out Sting Ray. Hell, Sting. <laughs>